Peace Corps volunteers, past and present, represent the best of America. Some are fresh out of college, others have more life experience. Some had never left America before arriving in Senegal, and others began their journeys in life as citizens of other nations. But you're all true Americans, representing your country and its finest ideals, which are embodied in the mission of the Peace Corps. Volunteers came, they taught, and they learned. They have been a credit to Peace Corps and to what we stand for. That is a very proud legacy, and it's one that my wife and I are proud to be part of, and I expect you to honor and to enhance it. You've all learned a local language. That ability to communicate, along with your commitment to learn from and to be part of a new community, will be the foundation for your success as volunteers. It's what makes you special and will make you effective. I have very high expectations of your professionalism, of your commitment to service, and of your contributions to Senegal. The volunteers who are here in Senegal now have more resources and more capability to make a real difference than any group of volunteers ever has. You can help a nation feed itself. You can help turn back the desert and bring back the forest. You are the ones that we've been waiting for to make a difference here and now and across the world in the future. Today, on behalf of the Peace Corps, I welcome you to our family. Congratulations. Buluk leke alam nako gareme choi. Bokchi volunteer recorded la pe werseg bu magla. I feel, as we all feel, deeply grateful for the volunteers who have come before us and the work of the Senegalese government and the work of Peace Corps and the legacy and mission of Peace Corps. Um, and we're only here today because of all of the hard work and all of the passion that has come before us. So I'm just really excited and can't wait to have all of these new opportunities. And uh, I think that this is one of you know the best decisions to come here and I've learned a lot and it's been really wonderful. Kodum Wonidolaman. Fulme Bio Gaso Kape Jodata Imoedodo. We've come to realize that the extended family that we're building here in training and in Senegal is really the point of, um, of all the work that we've gone through. And we're very excited to keep building this family and building relations um, between the Peace Corps community and Senegal, um, amongst our families and friends, and um, with Americans at home as well. I'm working in Serer, with the Serer people. So it's something that we really like because we appreciate a lot the way the volunteers are doing because we notice that they are really motivated to be volunteer and they really want to help our country to go ahead, meaning to develop. As a team, we are really, really working hard to give them what they exactly need for their job and also to, <clears throat> to be in, in good condition in our country because it's not easy though. They are really far from their families. They miss their families, but they don't care about all these things. The only thing that is important for them is to help people. What this God is doing is something really interesting and that everybody must do in the world, meaning promoting the peace in the whole world and also, <clears throat> and also to make people get to know each other. So it's an important thing. No Amerik Amy Berglin ne em on non gun jan fatun gom ne em. Na khan ne el yasin fai no daru salam. Thanks to all of our host families who've taken us in over the past two months and taught us their language and their culture and have been patient with us as we've made horrible faux pas. Uh, thanks also to the Peace Corps Senegal staff that has taught us and cried with us and laughed with us and will continue to for the next two years. And congratulations everybody, all the volunteers in this stage, we made it. I was telling someone earlier that this is probably bigger to me, a bigger deal than my college graduation. It feels just like I now really have a purpose. It feels like uh, I'm ready to go out into the world. I'm ready to go out into Senegal. Um, I'm ready to do what we came here to do. Bari follow follow mbe na mbor sumolu kontona mbe First of all, we want to thank our homestay families in Mbor for uh, welcoming us into their families, for teaching us their culture and their language. We want to thank our um, Mandinka instructors, our technical instructors, and all of the administration for the hard work they've done in our training. 
This marks the 50th anniversary of the founding of the Peace Corps. The work that you do will build upon the foundation of many volunteers before you. You also join the largest Peace Corps program in Africa. You should be proud to contribute to a program that is widely thought of as one of the most innovative and effective in all of the Peace Corps. You have an important responsibility to continue that tradition as we head into the second half century of Peace Corps work around the world. The Peace Corps embodies the best of America, service to others in the pursuit of peace and development. Many say, and I have no doubt, that you are America's best value for its foreign policy dollar. The Peace Corps program in Senegal has a long and rich history. It's a true partnership between the people and government of Senegal and the United States. Since the arrival of the first group in 1963, over 3,000 volunteers have completed their service to the people of Senegal. This year, as the Global Peace Corps program celebrates its 50th anniversary, you become part of this proud tradition of helping make the world a better place. The whole thing has been very intense, really fun. Um, we've been really good support networks for each other since he's married to me, so he has to be. <laughs> um, but uh, it's been really good. Like we've learned, we've learned very quickly, and uh, we've had to. And it's super exciting that actually now we're going to be able to uh, go out and do our thing and use the language we've been learning and the techniques that we've learned and been trained to do. So it's all very exciting. Yeah, I I I, I find that um, every day through PST there was a different kind of challenge you know, and a different uh, set of hardships that we would come up against here. Um, I feel a little bit better about dealing with those challenges after PST. I feel like I have more, more tools in my tool bag to deal with them, but I know that there's going to be a lot more challenges ahead, you know, and different types of challenges too. So... Um, Hopefully we're ready for them all. Yeah. <laughs>